your GAA newspaper. And you're welcome back again to Sunday Sport. We concentrate on herding for the next while here on the programme. Now, Donald O'Grady is here with us in the studio and we'll be chatting to him a little bit later on. And by the way, we'll also have a special report on the current situation in Limerick. However, right now we're headed for Nolan Park for this afternoon's clash between Kilkenny and Galway. Never an easy place to go, but Galway knew if they could pull off a win, it would keep them in with a great chance in the league. The commentator on this one is Ger Canning. Among Kilkenny's six changes this afternoon are goalkeeper PJ Ryan, rested last week against Dublin, and Martin Comerford at wing forward, who's just back from his honeymoon. Midfielder Niall Welch starts his first league match, and TJ Reid starts his term as Kilkenny captain. Meanwhile, Galway are still without the top names from Port Umna, and their four changes show James Skehill taking his turn in goal, Donald Barry picked at left half back, Angus Callanan at wing forward, and Joe Gantley wearing the number 14 jersey this afternoon. Referee James Owens from Wexford gets the match underway on a big day here in Kilkenny, a day when they open up what they call Ordon e Caruil. A lovely new stand behind the goal into which Kilkenny are going to attack in the first half in honour of the late secretary of the Kilkenny County Board, Ted Carroll. And this ball is out here as far as Niall Welsh, the newcomer, trying to make an instant impact. Laying it off inside here. TJ Reid sending it in. Doesn't quite work out, however, and it's well collected by Shane Kavanagh and well cleared. Down towards Aidan Hart. Breaking loose in here towards Cyril Donlan, looking to try and link up with Niall Healy. Comes back out again towards Chaff, it's Patrick. And the second attack for Kilkenny is mounted. Again, it is... TJ Reid, the captain, wearing the white helmet, letting fly with accuracy and putting it beautifully over the bar. What a very, very good score inside the opening 60 seconds. Non-stop action at Nolan Park, which looks absolutely brilliant this afternoon. Terrific surface, and that was a fitting, terrific point. Well batted back. Added to here. Again, it's towards Hart. Good score. Second shot of the target by Aidan Hart, taking the pass from Angus Callanan. And the teams are on terms, a point apiece. Ter Farher marking Niall Welch. And Kenny's attack easily broken up by John Lee. Joe Gantley rising up for it, helped out here by Aidan Hart, swinging it onto his right. Great score by Hart, who's been impressing an awful lot of people this year. Son of Josie, who's a great hurling man from Gorton, South County Galway, and he's certainly making his mark in this Alliance National League. Joe Gantley colliding with his own man over there, who was there, and Ryan, but Ryan has it. In through two Kilkenny players, that leaves a free man, it's Cyril Donlan here. Should be a point, there is. And Galway are doing all of the right things in the opening 20 minutes and they lead by seven points to three. John Lee rising alongside Michael Rice. Breaks back to David Collins. Comes up very nicely for uh, Aidan Fogarty, who hasn't been seen so far. Final effort is a good one, and that's got over the bar. That's one they've needed, and Char taking that loose ball Aidan Fogarty passed it back to him and Char Fitzpatrick gets his first of the day and it's 7-4 I don't think the Kilkenny fans in the crowd are all that terribly pleased by what they've seen so far only four points on the board and 22 minutes are gone Martin Comerford chasing after this one didn't quite run for him but it might run a little better for Michael Rice into power again, stepping away from trouble. Outside to John Mulhall. He scored some very good points in this year's National League. And this looks like another one of them. First of the day for John Mulhall. He really has been the forward find of the league so far. That was a deadly shot and a terrific score. Up towards Cyril Donnellan. Again, the referee from some distance away blows his whistle. 
and this time he's uh, going to have words with one of the Kilkenny backs certainly you can see there that the Galway man came off second best and requires some attention Jeff Farraher scorer of three points and now he's got a fourth John McIntyre must be pleasantly happy with the way things have gone so far well, all the way through this first half, Kilkenny have been sluggish, and that's just another illustration of it there. That was emphatically punished by Cyril Donlan, his third point of the first half, from a puck out by PJ Ryan that wasn't seized upon here by John Tennyson. In came Donlan, and that's been symptomatic of what's happening to Kilkenny in this game so far. Here comes Martin Comerford, danger for Galway, and he's content just to take a point. It's his second, he's made it 12-9. Galway keep on switching in, Orion and Cyril Donnellan from centre forward to left half. Here's Cyril Donnellan now moved across there on Paddy Hogan. That's a yellow card as well for Paddy Hogan. So when this goes behind the boundary line, whether it's a point or wide, it should be the end of the first half. Ger Faraher strikes. Ger Faraher scores. It's his fifth. The referee blows for half time, and it's Galway who lead at the break by four points. Inside towards TJ Reid. Started very prominently. That time it's Richie Power firing it forward, Skell racing from his goal line oh, James Skell's made a mess of it and that's put into the back of the net an absolute gift for TJ Reid he'll hardly get an easier goal than that a complete blunder by James Skell James Skell left it behind he was in two minds Mulhall first and then TJ Reid and Reid applied the finish Now, who's got the greater drive and determination for the next half an hour of hurling in the Alliance National League? Out comes John Tennyson, helped out there by Niall Welch. That's a big boost, and all of a sudden it's Aidan Fogarty who takes off, and Aidan Fogarty puts Kilkenny into the lead. A little bit of afters, but Aidan Fogarty gets his first point of the match. And now the Kilkenny fans who've travelled here in numbers are seeing a bit more from their team. This is more of what we expect from the champions. TJ Reid, back towards John Mulhall. Back it comes again to Michael Rice, stepping in and stepping away from trouble and firing it over. It's his first point of the match. Every one of the starting forwards now for Kilkenny has scored in this game. become a very competitive game once again and Kilkenny in front of their home fans want to turn on the style that's beautifully across by Richie Power but there was a little bit too much work to do there for Michael Rice, ball ran away from him he got in a challenge but it's going to be a line ball to Galway Damien Joyce TJ Reid somehow holds on to it shot a goal and two points now for TJ Reid well John Mulhall got out of his way and out of the latitude and that was a fine effort TJ Reid a goal we have fallen apart since the concession of that goal and Martin Comerford gets a third his first of the second half and it's 116 to 14 points Pressure back on the Kilkenny backs. Kanasiki trying to get it out. He's left it behind. Taken back once more by Kevin Hines. Going for the score himself. And that has gone over the bar. Good play by substitute Kevin Hines, former under 21 captain. And now it's a one goal difference 116 to 16 points.
the support player over here is Fergal Moore, the Turlock Moore player. Missed by John Tennyson. Here's Richie Cummins, the new man in for Niall Healy. Runs on here towards her Latania. Goal, goal, goal eventually. Three attempts by all count. And he's got plenty of goals in the league so far. And Kilkenny's lead is back to a solitary point.